Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday today. Uh, it's Monday night when I'm shooting this, and my wife will be home in just a few minutes, so I need to get through this. Anyway, uh, the last video on my main channel, which was yesterday's milling and uh, lumber selection video, very well received, and um, that's cool. I was kind of hesitant on publishing that because that was a lot of talking, but... A lot of you enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys got some information out of it. That was a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, it's part of, like I said, a project that is ongoing with Sean Stone and myself, and we are nearing the completion of the dartboard cabinet. That means I've got a lot of footage uh, throughout the rest of this build that it still needs to publish, and I'm going to try and just dump content out there as far as getting this, this uh, series uh, presented. So instead of just having the weekly video, which I haven't even really had in a while, instead of just having the weekly Sunday video or something like that, I'm just going to try and edit and just get it out there. So that's the game plan with it. Uh, tomorrow actually on the schedule is uh, cove cutting. Me and Sean are cutting coves in the top and bottom shelves of the dartboard cabinet. I almost called it a vanity. And that's going to be on Sean's channel. Uh, this this originally wasn't intended to be a collaboration type YouTube style video series. It was intention, intended to be a longer in-depth course style content. So we're just uh, making the best of it because all the footage is still good. So might as well use it if the footage is good. Uh, what else is going on? Next up, uh, December 9th. In Birmingham, Alabama, City Hardwoods is having a meetup, their second one. I attended the one last year. A lot of really cool folks uh, attended last year. Hopefully, there's going to be more people there. But uh, myself, Sean Stone, I haven't heard if Jason's going to ride with us. Jason Barlow, a friend of ours in Columbus, who also has an Instagram woodworking channel page thingy. And then I think Wayne Brown said he might make the trip up there. So hopefully, there's going to be a lot of people there. It is December 9th. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. City Hardwoods in Birmingham, Alabama. They're going to have barbecue and drinks and a few giveaways. And I think me and Sean have talked about, well, I know we've talked about uh, trying to, no promises here, but trying to get something small built to give away in uh, the City Hardwoods giveaway. Uh, it'd be a lot of fun to have as many people there as possible. So if you are in the area of Birmingham, Alabama, uh, be sure to see if you can make the event next up on my list i've got <coughs> shellac so the finish on the dartboard cabinet is going to be garnet shellac and we're going to accent the main wood which is cherry with walnut so this is a little uh glue up i've got going on this is two coats of a one pound cut of garnet shellac so i mixed up my own shellac this is cherry and this is also walnut with the garnet shellac on it as well. I didn't do any surface prep on these boards, but I just wanted to slap some finish on there and just kind of get the contrast and see what it'll look like. We're, we're pleased with the way that it looks, so man, this thing's going to look nice when it's all said and done. I'm, I'm really excited about getting this done. The, the thing is, we're, gonna, we're going to be selling this cabinet locally, so as soon as it's done, I just want to grab some darts and throw darts at it, but you can't do that. you got to sell it you know, brand new, so... We can't play darts on it, but we still have my dart board here in the shop. Uh, mixed up garnet shellac for the first time. This is my first time mixing up shellac. There's absolutely nothing to it. I don't know why I haven't been mixing my shellac from the very beginning. It's super easy, and if you do the math, it's a lot less expensive than buying some. And you control the amount that you have just by how much you mix up, rather than buying it in the can and letting some go to waste. Because I have a half a pint over there, half a quart over there that is all gummed up and the, it, it's just old because the uh, the I'm going blank here the lid hasn't sealed properly and that's just like that I don't care threw it on the shelf my fault anyway next up I'm gonna try and release a video on my leather apron leather shop apron this guy right here is it in the video yeah this guy right here a lot of questions on my shop apron I love that thing and I don't want to just talk about it in this video because it deserves a video of its own. And the guys who made this, or, or the the guy and gal who made this, really deserve um, some thumbs up and kudos sent their way. Uh, I did buy it. It's not sponsored or anything. But I really, really like that apron. 
Uh, my clothes have been so much more clean going into the shop after working in here, so my wife loves that I got an apron. And uh, having everything right where you need it, fantastic. That's enough of that. Uh, my wife, I can, as a matter of fact, speak of, speak of, uh, my wife. I hear her driving in the driveway right now, so I'm going to end it here. Um, this Thursday is Thanksgiving here in the United States. If you guys have the opportunity to spend it with some friends and close family, then please do so. The older I get, the more I enjoy spending time with my family. You guys take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.